Guess who it is? Oh, look at me! I got so much money in my hands! So much money! Oh my god! It's just so incredible! Oh, how! Oh. Hi, my name is Eric, and I am a multi billionaire tycoon. And if you're wondering, how is your name spelled? Is it spelled Eric with a C or Eric with a K? Well, guess what? I'm so rich, before I was even conceived, I was able to invest in both a C and a K. So my name is Eric with the C and a K. It sounds ludicrous, but that's how lucrative I am with all this money I made. Woo! I bet some of you who are watching this video right now who just want to be carbon copies of me. Well, guess what? Today is your lucky day if you stayed long enough to find out how I made so much money and look at this beautiful, beautiful house that I have in the background. I mean, it's not a green screen. It's real. It's fucking real. The haters are going to say it's green, but it isn't. It's just a wall. Step one. People are going to try to tell you that you need to work hard. Well, guess what? It's not about working hard. It's about working smart and then telling people to work hard. That's how you make money, okay? Duh! If I ended up working at a, a city warehouse or a factory all my life working hard, I'm not making money. I'm not making nothing. I'm not making, I'm making nothing. I just lure people with this idea that if you work hard under me with my business, then you could be just like me. And a discussion. Advice number two, investing in dating gurus. Dating gurus, dating gurus, People giving advice on how to date? What? Why are you willing to pay an other individual how to date? Okay? It's just like when I watch these dating you know, uh, gurus give advice to young individuals who, 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 who just, or just, who is so pathetic and so lonely that no girl wants to date them. They just go in there and then the gurus, they are so philosophical. They give advice about relationships and connectivity and communication and how these kinds of concepts are very important uh, building foundations for an ideal relationship. And I'm looking at them, are they like, what are their ethnicity? Are they half stupid? It's bullshit. It's all about the money. You pay $600 to listen to this damn sessions and then you and all the other people collectively who invested in this dating guru will use that money utilize it and then get the bitches why why are you paying these dating gross ass gurus use the money to get the bitches you see a girl that you think is really pretty you find out what she's worth and then buy her period that's what I've been doing all these years and, and another thing about the philosophy thing. This is America. We don't care about philosophy. There are people who committed suicide over a philosophy degree and couldn't get a job. <laughs> it's obvious, okay? We make fun of philosophy. The only time that we actually engage in philosophy is if they talk about how we could make more money and outmaneuver people on the social ladder. So obviously, you're not gonna go invest in a dating girl. You wanna figure out how to get a girl? Easy, just get all the money. Advice number three, and that is, well, I mean, Never take advice from a multi-billionaire. It might be a possible a pyramid scheme. Like, it's, it's like one-on-one. It's so basic. Like, a duh, what, 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 what? Okay, this is how an economy goes. It's all based primarily on value, okay? There's two people in the room, right? One has my one dollar, and I have a dollar. But I have an asset that belongs to me, even though it's completely subjective. I, if I can convince the other individual that the value that I have for the asset is worth a dollar and you should give it to me because this is an important aspect of your life. If you give it to me, that other dollar, I have two dollars and you have nothing, okay? This is how rich people work. If everybody was rich, then what would the word rich mean, okay? We are society's leeches. Don't take advice from us. We are parasites, okay? It's just like, it's, 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 it's,
all based on manipulation. You manipulate the system and then you get all the money, all the money, all the money. <laughs> Advice for witches is well, build a church. Duh! I say you're the thing, I make your own religion to, to exactify my argument. Okay, like, have a black guy be a martyr, have that person worship them, and then you, you, you build a place of worship. People go, and then you'd be like, oh, by the way, uh, we need money. We need money to, you know, keep the, 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 the religion or whatever, uh, the, 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 the one with the nigga dead. And then they'll give you the money, and then you take the money, and then you do whatever you want. It's, 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 it's crazy. All you have to do is convince people about the value. Again, like step three. It's like it's all about the value. If I could convince you that whatever I have is worth something and you go along with it, now I just trust your asses you just gave me money. And the final tip on how to make a lot of money is to invest on wise investments or to exactify, go with the more realistic, ideal career path. I know this is going to be a little edgy topic to talk about, but why do you think that consistently, why are so many Indians and Chinese people are so fixated on trying to become a doctor? It's because they want the money. Yeah, some of them are just going to try to justify and say, oh, well, I want to help people help 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 if you are if you are there are many ways you can help people okay you don't have to be a doctor stop trying to tell people that you're being a doctor so you can help people you're just being an asshole who just wants to have money but you don't want to say that because you want to do that that's it that's all you know what i'm not going to go into it okay i don't want to go anyway okay i just don't i don't i don't the only thing I want to go is upstairs in my house. Psych, this is not the end of the video. There's more to this segment, and I'm done preaching to people. You know why? Because I already made my place of worship, and I took my money. All right, so um, this is what we're going to do. All right, so I have um, you know, a small loan of $1 million right here in this bag, right? Just a little small $1 million, right? So. Uh, we're just waiting for somebody who could just like you know be you know just pass by right here and we're just gonna leave the case and 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 then we're just gonna watch them react they're gonna spaz out and just have like a little baby seizure and and we're just gonna laugh because it's like it's nothing because i am a billionaire <laughs> all right let's go <laughs> <Come on. <laughs> I told man, I knew that was gonna happen. I just straight up knew that was gonna happen. That guy just took the money like a dirty peasant he is. Look at this. I have so much money. A million dollars is absolutely garbage to me. One time, because I'm so rich, I bought myself my own mansion just to wipe my ass. I got money. Nothing less of money. No one can compare to me. No. It's my darling wife. Hello? Hold on, let me put you on speaker because all you guys are gonna hear is success. Boop. Hey, babe. Um, um, I have some bad news and we need to talk. Wait. Wait, what? Alright, so I, I got a call from your business 
You know, the cargo pants dress idea that you came up with? Yet yeah, you're being sued by Disney uh, for copyright infringement. And because of that, now, now you're bankrupt. And it's just, now it's just kind of awkward knowing that I'm with a man that has no money anymore. So I, I have to say this. I want a divorce. A, 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 a divorce? A, a divorce? But, but babe, I love you. I wanted to reproduce with you and have a perfect family with you. What, what is going on? This is, this is crazy. You're talking crazy right now. Yeah, but I mean, once I found out that you're bankrupt, I was no longer interested in you in anymore. Also, I met this man. His name is David. He has a suitcase of a million dollars, which is amazing. And also, I should mention, I, I never really was into sucking your elbows. I just thought I was weird. And also, one more thing, you know, well, let's face it, since I'm a whore, you probably have AIDS now. AIDS? 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 I don't have AIDS. I'm perfect. I'm perfectly fine. I, I, I'm a perfectly fine individual. What, what is she talking about? What is she talking about? I don't have AIDS. Like, I don't have AIDS. Do I look like I have AIDS? I don't know. No, I'm not asking you. What is she talking about? What is she talking about? You sick son of a bitch! Hey, hey, hey. The B? See the B? You know what it stands for? Stand for bread. <laughs> well, it used to stand for billionaire, but now I'm broke. Bread. Tell my, tell my money, I love it. 